Hi. In my writing life, I attend a number of Las Vegas conventions. One of my favorites is the Electronic Retailing Association's Direct-to-Consumer Trade Show. This is a trade show for all the infomercial and shopping channel folks and the people who bring you wrinkle cream and other wonderful products online. I am a customer of such products myself from time to time. My husband says I am easily duped. I say I've lived long enough now that instead of me hiking the malls and hauling home my purchases, the products should come to me. At any rate, as a result of my attending that convention, I am now a subscriber to Electronic Retailer Magazine. This month's magazine discussed a problem I had never before considered. Writer Scott Richards says that if a company has a toll-free telephone number that is not an 800 number, say an 866 or 888 number, thousands of potential buyers are missed. He says that potential buyers are exposed to an average of 6,000 advertising messages a day. And folks like me get confused. True. He cites a report in the New York Times. The American Idol TV program has an 866 number. And although the number is repeated at least five times during a broadcast, 250,000 people typically dial the number as if it were an 800 number. Some call back using the right number, some don't. Smart Talk is a prepaid cell phone. They have an 877 number and they have 67,000 missed dials every month. The writer did his own experiment. He purposely misdialed the ASPCA's Animal Poison Control Center number, an 888 number. He reached a family business of jewelers. These jewelers forwarded their calls to their home on weekends and holidays. On a regular basis, these jewelers said, they were awoken by misdials in the middle of the night from distraught pet owners. Ooh, a big oops, I shouldn't laugh. For a few dollars more, says Richards, an electronic retailer should forget 866 or 888 and get an 800 number. I called the people at Grasshopper who sell toll-free services and found that an 800 number costs just $30 more initially than an 866 number. But of course, folks don't want just any 800 number. They want a special, memorable number. A couple years ago at an electronic retailing trade show, one of the exhibitors was selling an 800 number. He owned the number that corresponded to the letters Call Now. He also owned the Call Now website. Both were for sale for $25 million. I didn't have $25 million at the time, so, well, you know I'm kidding. Remember when the only important numbers in life were your birthday numbers? Today I am six years old. That was usually accompanied by a picture. Then we got numbers like Marilyn Monroe's measurements, 36, 23, 37. I never came close. And now we have important 11-digit phone numbers, some better and more expensive than others. Life sure does evolve, doesn't it? See you next time. 10-4? 10-4.